Hi, I'm here today with Ian Hood, who is the Chief Technologist Global Service Provider at Red Hat, and with him, Bob Everson, who is the Global Director of Mobility and 5G at Cisco Systems. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to have you here. Firstly, why don't you introduce yourself and give me an idea of what you do. So I'm responsible for uh, 5G and mobility end-to-end -end across Cisco. So bringing the architecture together, engaging with service providers, engaging with our partners. I'm also the lead for our open VRAN ecosystem, which we're talking about some today. Dean? Thanks, uh, Tony, and you've already you know, sort of stated my title, and, and sort of similar to, to Bob, I work with our customers and with our partners to help them build their architectures and drive more business value for the end customers, our joint uh, service provider customers. So gentlemen, how and when did the Red Hat Cisco partnership get started? Well, actually, Tony, it started quite a long time ago, like it does with a lot of our customers. Cisco's a very large enterprise, so we started working with them as an end customer. But over the course of time, over you know, many, many years, we built that partnership to work together and sell our uh, common solutions together to our end customers. NFV has been the topic of discussion for the last five years at Mobile World Congress. Uh, why does it matter so much, and how does it relate to all the talk about 5G that we're hearing this year. You know, so maybe I'll lead off with that. Um, yeah, virtualization in FE has been around for a while. It's gotten very real over the last few years as we've seen virtualization moving through the mobile network. So uh, the packet core, you know, through the data center, through the infrastructure there. And so as we move towards 5G, virtualization plays an even bigger role because more of these functions are moving to software and require that virtualization layer. And really to kind of, you know, take that you know, from the business services to the mobile services and the video services that we've started with, the next thing we're doing is, as this architecture moves out to the edge, we're now distributing the architecture to move virtualization closer and closer to the customer to deliver those new services, AR, VR capabilities, telemedicine, those kinds of things. The Open VRAN ecosystem made a big entrance at last year's Mobile World Congress. What has the ecosystem been doing since then? It's been a busy year. It got a lot of attention last year when we launched it. Um, a lot of the focus has been around working with customers to understand their requirements, do proof of concepts for them. We've built some live demos, some live trials, and uh, we made a big announcement here uh, in the last couple of days, which I think we'll talk about in a minute, but, but uh, we actually have the, the first full-scale operator going with this, this completely virtualized model. So it's been a busy year, but it's been pretty exciting. And you know, definitely been a very exciting time with you know, the partnerships and the ecosystem coming together for multiple of our customers. But at the same time, the industry has also built an alliance of operators and vendors to actually take the technology forward with the ORAN alliance at the same time. And both of us are partnered in that as well along with our customers. Just to build on that a little bit, I think what we're seeing is there's a lot of inertia in the mobile industry around the way things had been done. And now the momentum's kind of building towards this transformation and towards a new model of this. So it's pretty exciting. So how has the partnership and collaboration between Red Hat and Cisco helped to drive the ecosystem forward? The partnership there has been, you know, from the virtualization pieces, and now as we see the evolution to, you know, microservices, containers, distributed architectures, it's really kind of made that partnership much more tighter together because otherwise we can't really solve the problems that our customers want on these open platforms that we collaborate on. So it's really been a much tighter relationship that we've, that we've gotten. And there's good synergy between the two companies and I think, you know, the way we think about this. So, so it's been real complimentary work from an architecture standpoint. And, and as Ian alluded to, we've kind of built around the Red Hat platform with our VIM and with our orchestration layer to, to build the solutions around this. How has the open VRAN ecosystem been used in the new Rakuten mobile network? Something much closer to home here in Barcelona. <laughs> uh, extensively, extensively. It's really, you know, it's the best validation at scale of all the principles of what we're talking about in open VRAN. So fully automated, uh, you know, zero touch automation of the cell sites. It's amazing, you, you, can, you can have a tech go plug in a radio, plug it in, it goes back, calls the OSS, and automatically deploys the software and brings it up. So saving tons of money just there in the deployment. And then the whole automation around operating the network, it's, it's, it's really impressive. And it's a great you know, partnership across uh, five or six different vendors actually in the ecosystem. And what's next for the open VRAN ecosystem? So we have um, a number of customers that we're talking to about solutions, both 4G and 5G solutions. So we'll see that pushing forward. And then we'll also continue to, to work uh, hard, as, as Ian said, in the ORAN forum and in some of the industry forums 
make sure we get the specifications out there where we have the open interfaces and can drive this forward. And it's really about taking these open platforms across the whole architecture and not just the, the network side of the VRAN and the mobile piece, but you know, Rakuten is actually taking the IT side and the network side on common platforms, open APIs, open interfaces, to take that architecture much further. And I expect other customers that we have will partner with you know, Cisco and others to actually deliver the same thing for more of these operators. Gentlemen, it sounds like the partnership is really going well, and let's hope it continues doing so in the future. Thank you both very much. Great, thank you. Thanks.